Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. Ready? The Columbia Vice has a slight problem. These two points down here at the bottom hit before the upper jaws come together completely. So I'm going to remove some of the material on that bottom jaw. I really like this Simon's file. It, it works quite well. Having the built-in handle, kind of handy too. Let's see if I got enough off. Got daylight at the bottom. Not no daylight at well, it's just a little bit of cockeyedness. Jaws are worn in the center. Good enough for what it's for. Vice works great. Nice job on the thread. The beam slides in and out well, everything stays square. I'm quite pleased with this vise. It might just kick the craftsman out of the running. Trying something new, don't know if it's going to work, but what the heck. Innovation is always a good thing. I'm using a lot more tape than what I normally would, but it is going on quite well. And I will certainly not have any chance of overspray getting on the threads. Not exactly what I consider a stellar job, but it worked. Right on this. Need to get a 
better grip with the tape there. This is a roll of masking tape that I got at Harbor Freight. I don't recommend them as a tape source because this tape really isn't any good. Doesn't bother me to use up a lot of it because it's going to go away. As far as quality of materials, Harbor Freight's right down there around a two. Most things that I get from Harbor Freight are really minimal, minimal usefulness. Doesn't mean I don't get them there, just means that I understand that they're not really very good. But then again, what am I looking for? I'm looking for the cheapest stuff I can get. Something that will function and do the job. Not necessarily the greatest in the world, but good enough for what it's for. Masking tape is one of those things that just doesn't need to be great. It's a use it once and throw it away item. I do want it to do a good job of masking. And this Harbor Freight tape does a fair job of masking. It doesn't do a good job of sticking. Now this Rust Oleum Rust Oleum Ultra Cover Paint and Primer. Very good stuff. You pay for it, but then the goal is to have the stuff work a long, long time. Because paint is not something you put on and go well. I better take it off in a couple of minutes, anyways. Paint is something that you want to have protect the thing from rust and corrosion and crappiness and just in general the world around it. So you really want to have good stuff. Okay, I'll have some touch up to do, but I think it's going to work well. When this stuff dries, I'll peel off the uh, masking tape. Well, actually, I got to do some touch up on it. I got to get underneath the beam and, and make sure that I get all the pieces and parts covered. I do need to clean up clamp bar and straighten it out a bit too. I need, I need to clean up I need to clean up this clamp bar and straighten it out a bit. Uh, it's been beat on.
sure do get a lot of use out of this piece of railroad iron. It's come in handy a number of times. There, now it's working. Shiny. When I'm almost completely done with the project, I remember that I have this little nifty thing. It clips on and turns it into a spray gun. I remembered it, Louie, but it takes a while. Old dog and new tricks. I'm going to get some clear coat so I can spray these parts. After I get this all done, I'll spray that crossbar and this locking bar. It won't matter if I get a little overspray of the uh, clear coat onto the gray, it won't, bo it won't bother a thing. When I'm done painting the Columbia Vice, it's going to look very similar to the Craftsman, but Actually, I think the Columbia is just slightly better condition. The Craftsman is a nicer vice. It does have the replaceable jaws. But the Columbia is a good, solid vice. Both of them are going to be great additions to my shop.
Hmm. Paint on the beam seems to be a bad idea. Nice smoothly functioning vise, a little bit of wax and I think I'm probably going to end up taking the paint off the beam because that's going to stick. We'll see. I just as soon leave the beam painted. If you have any suggestions for new videos or questions on anything that you've seen in this video or any of the other videos, drop a note in the comments below. I read them all, you know. Thanks for watching.